I am not a lawyer. So what I'm about to show you, maybe you should stick to just using in your personal projects. If you want to use it for a business paid type project, maybe just do a little research first just to check if it's okay for you to do so. So now that I've cleared that up, nobody's going to sue me. Let's dive in. So I'm here inside of a web browser and I'm at canva.com. So this is a fantastic resource. It's fantastic for letting people with next to no design skills build some really nice looking designs. There's lots of great assets built into this. Now there is a paid version, but there's also a great free version. And I happen to be using that same free version just now. So the idea is guys, I'm gonna go through and find some vector content or just some content, show you how to export it out as vector content and then pull that into Illustrator to do some further editing on. So let's jump into create a design. Doesn't matter what I choose here, Instagram post. And the section I'm looking for is elements just here. So there's lots of great little icons and graphics inside of here. You can see if I go for a scroll just here. And I'm looking for illustrations just here. I'm gonna click on the word all. And again, lots of great content inside of here. And I'm gonna come back up to the top here because I'm liking the look of this icon just here. So if I just click on that once, it jumps it out onto the canvas just here. And that's all I need. I'm ready to download at this point. So there's a download button up in the upper right corner here, if I just click on that. Now remember, I want to download vector content. So I don't wanna be choosing PNG here. I want to be going for PDF. Yeah, there is a PDF print here, but all I need is PDF standard. So if I click on that and hit download, it will download it to my desktop, but I've already done that a few moments ago, and that's what this file is just here. So notice it's a PDF file. So if I just double click on that, by default, it's gonna open up in a program like Acrobat or Adobe Reader. So I want this inside of Illustrator. So I'm just going to right mouse click, choose open with and open with Illustrator. So there it is just there. So this is all vector content. You can see if I zoom in really tight, the lines are very crisp. It has infinite resolution being a Illustrator file, of course. If I go up to the view menu and come down to outline, you can see there's all the great vector paths. If I go and grab something like the direct selection tool, you can see if I click on an element, I can actually easily move it around. I can click on say this red bar at the top just here, go into the fill options and change it to whatever color I like. Very nice. And again, I've prepped a bit of this ahead of time. So that's what this other file is just here. So in the upper left corner, that's the icon that I downloaded from canva.com. I made a copy just over here and went to town with some of the edits. And then I really went to town on the edits just down the bottom there. So that's it there, guys. Uh, this wasn't a deep dive. I just wanted to show you that you can easily get elements out of canva.com and then bring them into Illustrator as vector content to continue editing. Hope that helps. Catch you later.